Hey everyone, it's Brittany from Endeavor Solutions Help Desk. I'm here today to talk about some new features on GP18.6. Now, as you can tell from my screen, GP18.6 feels a lot similar to some of the previous versions of GP, but it's got a few goodies baked inside of it. So the first part we're gonna talk about today is customer statements. I know we all like to send our customer statements once a month, send it out to our customers, make sure we're all on the same page, but They've added a few goodies for us inside of there. Now you might say to me, Brittany, this print receivable statement looks the same as it always has. True, it does. However, they've added a few more options for the print form. They've added the exclude all fully paid documents. Now, <clears throat> we all know that if you don't run your pay transaction removal before running your statements, you get this massive statement that's inside of there and it's a, li it's a little much. So we're going to go ahead and look at what that looks like from a transaction side. So I'm going to hop into my transaction by customer because it's still my favorite. It's an oldie but a goodie, but it's still my favorite. A lot of times we get these situations. So I'm going to look at this sales 1,000 here. My <clears throat> uh, current amount remaining is zero, right? It's been fully applied. It's all there. And you know what? Even if we look at our standard invoice 2044, this is in the same situation. Its original doc amount was 320 bucks. It's now the amount remaining is zero. Well, if I print the statement the way it is right now, I'm going to see that in there along with a bunch of others. And that might be a little too much for us to see. So if I take that option off, I'm going to give it a print just so you guys can see what it looks like. And I'm printing it just for Aaron Fitz. You'll notice that I have lots of invoices in here and probably more than I want to see, okay? So I have all those invoices in here. Probably don't want to see them, especially if my amount that's remaining has already been paid. We just haven't moved it to history with paid transaction removal. No problem. GP is now allowed for a new part in there to shorten this off that if I come back into my statement option, I can exclude fully apply documents. So they can be in the status open as long as they're fully applied from a cash receipt, a credit note, whatever the case may be, they are no longer going to show up inside of my statement, which will clean up your statements for you, especially if you're sending them mid-month. So now you can see my standard invoice. We've removed that for any fully paid documents, and it really does shorten up my... Um, pay transaction removal, which really helps us out there, okay? So just so you can see it one last time, because I love to see it, now you're gonna see a much shorter statement, okay? I find this is helpful for those of us who are, maybe have a call or an inquiry from a customer who says, hey, where am I currently outstanding? You can now uh, exclude all fully applied documents, whether they're in open or history. Hopefully this, is, this can help you out. Well, thanks, Brittany. What a great overview. Our GP Support North team at Endeavor loves GP and are excited with Microsoft's commitment to the GP Roadmap 2028 and beyond with the latest version of Dynamics GP 18.6. For our next post on new features, follow us on LinkedIn at GP Support North. Or for the Dynamics GP 18.6 features guide, visit www.gpsupportnorth.com GP. Well, we'll see you there.